Hi, this is Sansa Mushy, and this is a pick a card reading on why am I having this dream? Now, of course, there's a lot of people, so chances are this might not resonate for everybody, but um, at the same time, who knows? Maybe it might. Give it a try. <laughs> so, we're gonna be going based off of <clears throat> decks this time, so I'm gonna be doing seven readings. Let me try to get the angle so you can see the decks a little bit better. Yeah. So, if this deck is calling out to you, this is reading number one. Um, also, just real quick, um, if several decks call out to you, they might all be different aspects of your dreams, or they might represent sort of different dreams, if you can remember your dreams, um, things like that. But anyways, this is reading number one, reading number two, number three, number four, reading number five, number six, and reading number seven. So yeah, go ahead and choose whether it's based off of like you're feeling drawn to a specific one or um, you just know that you always pick readings five or two or whatever numbers um, that you are drawn to, whatever way you wanna do this, definitely. Um, and you can go ahead and click the timestamps in the description box below to go to your specific reading. Yeah. So, hopefully you clicked the timestamps. This is reading number one <clears throat> on why am I having this dream. So, the message I'm getting, and also these all might kind of resonate similarly because we all sort of have dreams for certain reasons to face things, you know? And that's pretty much what I'm getting right away. That this dream is allowing you to face certain um, fears, ideas, realities, um, concepts, things like that, that you wouldn't be able to experience in the physical world. Now, this is important because it's connected to um, any energy you might have in the physical world where you are guarded or you have like an automatic shield or like an automatic response, sort of. Like, you know, you feel really open and you're like you're yourself when you're alone, but then suddenly when you go somewhere, it's like, um, just automatically you say certain things that sound cool, you know, they're like, yeah, hi, like, how are you? Like, you know, just like, this is what you say, or maybe you're very guarded and you just close up and don't know what to say. Um, whatever it is, your dreams, you seem to be having them because they're allowing you to face certain fears or ideas when it comes to that. It's allowing you to practice being open and living out like, any sort of what-if situation so depend obviously everyone's dreams are going to be different here so if it's more on the spooky side um you're having these dreams to face your fears to to see that even when drawn to such extremes that you can play these um ideas out and that you're going to be fine and then there's kind of like the other side where it's like um these dreams are a lot more positive where you're seeing that you're opening up and you're seeing it be a very positive thing um, like in the dream how it like works really well for you or something um, something along the lines of that um, so it can kind of be like one or the other um, or maybe a little bit of a mix where it's like you are um, experiencing certain things in your dreams but because you are you you have like your conscience where you're like whoa this the way this is happening that is like like, I am rooting for myself and not for the other characters. One second, guys. I am going to let my dog in just real quick. <clears throat> okay. No, not right now. Okay. So, that's basically it. <laughs> I was reading number one. Um, and I'm gonna flip one more card with this. Wow. And it, it also, a different message I'm getting here is you guys might be having these, these dreams are also guiding you to, um, whether it's like spiritual enlightenment, whatever that means to you, um, or like, um, your life's purpose or like, where is it that your heart is calling you to go? Um, so you might have certain insecurities or fears um, when it comes to a big dream you have. 
you might have like a dream like I want to be a musician but that can't be me that could never be me or like I want to write poems you know I want to be a poet I want to be a writer um, but like I don't know how to, I can't write like that's not me like something like that um, some sort of dream where it's been like pushed aside because um, you've been either you've either learned through like life experiences um, negative lessons basically that, um, that that makes you feel that way and stuff like that and so your dreams are kind of guiding you towards like those same negative belief systems that people might have made you feel or um, that you hold within yourself through the past you know um, that this is helping you release those and so with helping you release those you're gonna have more courage and strength to try pursuing your passions and things that you really love and feel like your heart is drawn to so it's definitely for like a positive reason um i don't think our dreams are ever meant to be a negative thing um i think they're just um to kind of show us the reality we're living in in the present it's like if your dreams are terrifying or something it's like that is gonna come with you in the physical world when you're awake it doesn't um even though you're awake from the dream now it's like the dream is reflecting um kind of your situation in one way or another so it's like depending on where your dream is at it's not supposed to be scaring you or saying like i mean it, chances are it can you know i've had dreams that scare me um so it's really difficult <laughs> I don't know, I'm really weird about my dreams. <laughs> it's not like my dreams are amazing. I just like experience it and they just aren't scary to me for some reason most of the time. Um, but the point, sorry, the point of what I was trying to get at is um, wh however your dream's feeling, it's, it's only trying to reflect fears or wishes, like hopes and dreams um, that you have and messages and ideas about pursuing them or trying something different, or um, changing what your 3D experience is like. It's trying to shine a light on something that is difficult to see when you are going through your day-to-day -day life. And so your dream world lets you explore that. So those were pretty long messages, um, but that was reading number one. I'm sending so much love and light. Hope that resonated. Peace out. Okay, reading number two. Why am I having this dream? It's a reminder for sure. It's supposed to be reminding you of love, I would say. Whenever I see this card, this don't forget a reminder. It's like there's something very important <laughs> that you're that you're never going to actually truly forget. So your dreams are actually trying to um, remind you of something important. Interesting. Chaos. What is this chaos card? And I think I need to let my dog out. He literally just wanted in. So one second. Okay. Belonging. Yeah. So your dreams are trying to remind you of home. They are trying to remind you, like tell you, don't forget um, during this time where you cannot see, you might be inside of this chaos, this tornado. Uh, you might be focused on it. Spirit is trying to get you back on task. Spirit's like, don't get caught up in the chaos. Um, and, and you will find your way home. So it's a pretty specific message. So I hope that's resonating for what your dreams are feeling like. So if your dreams are feeling very chaotic, that might be saying like, just like in your dreams when you wake up and it's like, <laughs> thank God, you know, you're like, okay, I'm awake. Like, ah, that, that was scary or chaotic. Um, it's reflecting into your 3D world. So it's like, if in your physical world, you're stressed, you're anxious, you're like, what's next? Um, how am I gonna get out of this? Am I gonna be able to do the next step when the time comes? Like. Basically, this is like, don't worry about the future because there's no way you're going to forget what you're here to do. 
um, even when we literally forget. But it's like, on the, like your higher self can never ever forget and you're always connected to your higher self. So you will always have the guidance. So it's like spirits like saying like, maybe the reason you're having these dreams is it's trying to take the workload off of your ego, your everyday life. It's trying to help you experience those in your more subconscious state so that you can see it, live it out, understand it, and let it let it go and fall into the void that is your subconscious. So that's what I'm getting for why you're having these dreams or if it's a specific dream, whatever this is for you. Um, it's definitely, it seems as though you need to experience it for whatever reason because it's going to continue to guide you through any chaotic periods in your life and guide you home. One way or another, these dreams are meant to be guidance. So remembering your dreams might actually be um, a healthy, fun activity for you to do. If it doesn't seem like it, like if it doesn't seem worth um, revisiting, um, that's definitely up to you. But I am getting like a strong message that like perhaps um, working on your dream recall is going to pay off um, at some point along your journey or just during your journey while you do it because you might enjoy remembering your dreams and it might help you analyze them more and kind of remember certain details that you couldn't remember before. Oftentimes I've had really specific dreams and they all it all sounds so weird or random but then if I can remember enough details in the chronological order of it, which is especially difficult at times, you know? Sometimes it's easy to remember all the sort of things that happened, but you're like, what order did that all happen? And you start to piece it together. Sometimes the order does matter, you know, is kind of the message I am getting. So, the moon. And yeah, there, there definitely seems to be just really specific messages from the divine, from the spirit, the universe, like, from the darkness, the moon, you know, the, the energy of it. There's like some actual meanings and I think you need to like, you don't need to, or like you don't have to, but the spirit's kind of saying like, if you want to know the meaning of them, you might have to practice your dream recall to remember them, to remember them fully and the experience fully. And that's going to help you a lot with understanding your dreams. So I'm getting your dreams are really specific as are everyone's dreams so i hope that resonated and helped kind of guide you in some sort of direction with dreams peace out all right reading number three why am i having these dreams and i should say i should have said this at the beginning of the reading but like um, I feel like the this reading it might not necessarily like tell you oh this is exactly why this is what that thing meant in your dream um, but it might help guide you in a direction to um, interpreting your own dreams for yourself or like understanding them a bit more um, yeah which I guess that's what the pick a card says already the whole why but um, I don't know I felt like kind of clarifying that again so, I'm going to flip these cards. We get the Four of Cups, the Fool's Energy. I'm going to put them over here. The Two of Cups. Ah, oh, interesting. The Magician. Oh my gosh. And the Knight of Cups. All right, so... With many of the other ones, I was like, yeah, it could be about anything. Like, you know, who knows what this dream is about. Um, and they're all kind of going to be about love one way or another. But I am getting that. I'm getting like, this is a message about love. The two of wands is in the middle of all of this. Two, four, five. Oh. No, it's... I think it's right over here. Man is in the middle of all this. I see. The back of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> so this might be a love dream that you've been having. Um, just depends on 
on if that resonates and if not this message is probably not going to resonate i don't think um, i'm trying to like see where i can put this there we go so this dream is reminding you of a specific love connection and how you you and this person are mirroring like a lot <laughs> like down here we've got twos the two of cups and the two of wands and then in the middle part sandwiched in between is the hanged man we have these ones or zeros these beginner cards you know these starter cards <laughs> the magician and the fool and then at the top we have these cups that are both very similar like this one is about like uh not taking this cup of offer and this one is like wanting to give an offer but is guarded feels like they you can't because there's like this river in the way so it's like you're like oh i would but there's this river in my way like i'm not able to reach you like i can't get a hold of you <laughs> so the dream world why you're having these dreams is to be able to communicate with one another that is really beautiful during this time of pause it's kind of like um i i just kind of imagine like two people like making plans to go see each other in the dream world <laughs> whether you guys are doing that on purpose or not it just seems to be happening it just seems like maybe you've been having sweet dreams is what i'm getting for number three um re readings one and two were more so along the lines of like the dreams might be kind of intense or like sort of heavy this could be intense depending on how romantic the dream is <laughs> but like yeah overall it's it's just like this seems to be like a really sweet dream like you're having like um blessings on blessings in these dreams like a lot of like fun loving positive experiences or messages or if you're having intense like dreams where it's like kind of heavy and it's like sad or scary or this or that i'm getting that you're partner in this spiritual world is like reaching you there to like soothe you give you certain messages to let you know everything's going to be okay if you're having like scary dreams but i am getting this is a very love-based message in that why you're having these dreams is to communicate to each other your love for one another and that you both <laughs> you both do seem to want to come together but that you're both unable to for different reasons at this time one of you just feels like it's not the right time um that's the person with the four of cups and the other just feels like you can't get a hold of them that's the knight of cups so it just feels like um it's only not the right time because literally you can't do it and if you could you would <laughs> It's kind of what I get, but not necessarily for all of you because the two of wands is down here. So it's kind of like, um, I feel like if you could, you maybe would, but then if it, obviously if you could tell the other person wasn't feeling it, it's like you intuitively would understand. You intuitively would basically back off and understand why the hanged man's energy is there in the first place, which might be why you want communication so much. Cause you're like, Hey, if we just communicate, I'll understand. And so the other person, they're like, maybe I can't communicate with my words, like in the physical world, but I'm saying them in my head, I'm saying them in my heart. And then when they do that, and they're like, I wish I could tell this person, I wish I could tell this person. Whether it's on purpose or an accident, they're giving you those answers in the dream. So if you're like, wow, if they can tell me in the dream world, why can't they tell me in the, the, the 3D world? They have it all wrong. It's like, because they can't tell you in the 3D world, they are telling you in the dream world it's like that is them sort of like that is like what they um are thinking or feeling about you or wanting you to know um yeah and then if you're listening to these messages and it's like what they're coming to you with in the dream isn't so positive then what i'm getting from that is those might be more fear-based energies that you're gonna have to like kind of get to the bottom of like why am i feeling those things why am i thinking those things you have to pay like close attention to how you're feeling in the dream like if someone says stuff like 
all of your biggest nightmares, but you don't feel scared, that should be a message saying this person cannot truly hurt you. You know, that might be more so the message, not the negative stuff of like, oh, like, I don't know, played out like, I don't want to see you and like negative stuff. It's like, overall, just take that message as like, they can't truly hurt me. I mean, maybe they have like emotionally and, and things like that, but like, like your subconscious wants to let you know that you're safe and the communication they're giving to you one way or another is supposed to unfold in your dream world in a way that shows you that you're going to be okay no matter what no matter what time of pause you're in um yeah and then the energy i'm getting here is that you both are manifesting this it's interesting like even if you switch the script like if it's like oh the person is unsure about making a decision and that might sound like the other person to you even if that is the case, it's like they still have the, the, ma the magician card with that. And then if it's like, and then it's like, even if it's like, that's you feeling like, oh, they're not sure if they're going to come towards me. It's like the other person has like the two of cups. I don't know. There's just, there's just so many positive cards on both sides of this that it looks pretty clear to me that you both do want to come together. And if they weren't able to tell you that in the physical world, they're able to tell you that in the dream world. So I'm being a little bit redundant, <laughs> but I hope that's helpful. And if that doesn't resonate, that's also totally fine. Peace out. Okay, reading number four, I believe, is this deck. I sure hope so. <laughs> Let's see, why are you having these dreams? Manifest. Okay, these dreams are allowing you to manifest whatever you want. Wow, confront. It's manifesting confrontation. It's allowing you to face your darkness. So it's allowing you to do um, shadow work while you're asleep. <laughs> so that's why you're having these dreams. It's allowing you to manifest um, your deepest desires and rebuild. Wow, the tower card. So for reading four, it might be like sudden changes are happening in your 3D life and it's reflecting in the dream world. So I'm getting your dreams have been like really constructive or deconstructing in a way that it helps you re rebuild. Yeah, we've got heart chakra and we've got third eye chakra. So this is definitely connected to what your heart wants this is your heart and your mind in alignment so your dream is actually very strong you're, you're actually a very powerful manifester in the dream world so spirit is kind of saying like maybe you want to start thinking about creating from within create from your dreams um your dreams do not control you you control your dreams even even though it might not seem that way at times to us uh how, how science kind of goes with the subconscious, it is us creating the dream, um, even if it doesn't feel like it. So it's like, with that in mind, the message for why you're having these dreams is it's supposed to be providing you tools to get more into meditation, get more in alignment with what your heart wants, um, to just get more in alignment in general. Um, and ultimately, this is supposed to be rebuilding you um, for your journey. So this is helping you create literally whatever it is you're wanting to manifest in the 3D world. That's why you're having these dreams if, if, if this is resonating. And a final message here. Nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. I am getting that your dreams are giving you opportunities to reconsider what you want. Um, yeah. Like, maybe in the physical world, your heart and mind are in alignment, or you felt they were in alignment, and you're like, yes, this is what I gather from all this, this is what I've decided I want to do. And then it's like, your dreams might be telling you like, okay, we understand. You're gonna have to really make those decisions in your dreams too. You're gonna have to play that out in your dream world. And once you do that, it will manifest. So let's see, rest and reconsider leads to success and growth. 
it, it does seem to lead towards your growth, your ability to successfully rebuild with that, that tower card. So, and it goes from the nine of wands to the eight of wands. So, is this through reconsidering? Is that what dreams specific message is about? I'm getting this one probably showed on screen. So there's another nine, nine of pentacles, well-deserved reward. And two more cards actually. Oh, the two of cups and the ace of swords coming together in clarity of belief. Yeah, this is these dreams are confirming things for you, affirming your beliefs, affirming what you are worthy of, manifesting. These dreams are showing you to be a hero. You are the creator of your own reality. You are your own hero and you will manifest your happy ending. It's a well-deserved reward. A hero deserves a happy ending, in my opinion. Um, obviously, you can point out movies and you're like, well, those heroes, that didn't happen. That's not what I mean. I just mean like, I believe we are all our own heroes and we all deserve happiness. We all deserve love and coming together with like a partner if, if you're looking for romance, you know, and that's a part of this that you and and family and friends soul family you know where you're like this is what my life wants to, like should feel like you're like i want to be surrounded by all this support and love and it's like you will and it's going to be because you got there at the same time it's really beautiful so that is kind of what i'm getting for reading number four is energy of why you're having these dreams i hope that resonates lots of love and light guys peace out Okay, so reading number five, why am I having these dreams? see the justice card in the four of cups so i already kind of get a message from that whoops well <laughs> they really want to come out so oh and the nine of pentacles so i'm gonna take those cards and i make an effort not to see other cards so the four of cups the justice card and the nine of pentacles i think you're having these dreams saying that your manifestations are on their way and they are coming and they will show themselves in physical form down the road. So you're having dreams about the future is basically what this is saying to me. I think all of our dreams are technically about the future as much as they're also about the past and, and the present. So um, try not to get too caught up in like, oh, it's a specific thing um it doesn't have to be a specific thing but it is that you that's you are kind of getting these sort of premonitions and visions perhaps three of wands about yes this is about plans for the future so you're kind of picking up on some energy that energy whether this is through an offer of love from a person or a job or a living situation or all of the above i'm just getting it's very much for your well-being that it's on its way and you don't have to really do anything for it at this point. You just need to keep going on your journey. So that's why you're having these dreams. That you're at a place right now where you're, you can't see the future literally here. So you're not 100% sure. Your dreams are like confirming that your future that you want is out there for you and that you are already on that timeline. You're already on that path uh, effortlessly. That you just need to keep doing what's right for you and it's just, you're gonna be guided there. Everything's gonna balance out for you. The scales will will balance. Ace of Cups, yes. Because you're finding all of this from within. You're not looking for it in the outside world. So you're successfully manifesting it. It's like, so long as you don't go out into the world looking for this stuff, it will show itself to you. 
and you'll know you'll know what you want to do when the opportunity comes up. You're not gonna say no to an amazing opportunity, basically. So why are you having these dreams? So this card, the tower. This card, the ten of pentacles. And this card, the hanged man. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman. So, a kind of other message I'm getting here is <laughs> that serious changes have happened. Um, so, this could be about you and separation from someone, and it's like you've been in pause from this person, like, so it's like, how could you know? And then your dreams are telling you that big changes are happening that seem to be bringing you and and others together you and this person if it's like if your dream is specifically about a person if it's like a lot of people in your dreams this is like you're bringing in your soul family if it's like about your living situation it's like you're bringing in your new living situation you know the perfect one that feels just like home for you that feels like home that feels safe i don't know just whatever it is that your dreams are about this is saying in the physical world, the obstacles have come down in those people or places or things' lives so that the law of attraction will do its thing and you will uh, be presented the opportunity. So I'm, that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting, if this is about down the road, it's a lot closer than you think, <laughs> but that could still take months. Like sometimes we're like, oh, days? But it's like, it could still be like more like months, you know, but it really depends on what this is. And I really feel like it'll be slightly different for each of us listening to these messages. But I do know right now it's March 12th, it's the Mercury, Mercury retrograde. So this literally could be after, as soon as Mercury retrograde is over, uh, it's over March 28th, I believe. So you might see this thing from your dreams manifest around April. Um, but it might take, it might still take more time for some of you if that doesn't happen. And with that in mind, the other message of why you're having these dreams is to know there are, there are plenty of other things for you to work on manifesting. There's a lot for you to create. And if you feel like you've created so much, then you need to create clearance. You need to create release and healing and rest, stuff like that. Um, and then the Knight of Swords is showing up and the Queen of Cups. A lot of court card energy is showing up. These two queens in this night. So, um, I'm just getting from this message that, yeah, you're powerful. You're, you're, you're having these dreams to remind you you are a very powerful manifester. Um, and to not forget that, to manifest with both your mind and your heart in alignment, be careful, be sure, be decisive and it is yours. So that's why you're having these dreams is what I'm getting. So I hope that resonates. Lots of love and like, guys. Peace out. All right, why am I having these dreams? Reading number six to the question, why am I having these dreams? I love this deck. Ah. New direction. You're, these dreams are literally guiding you in a direction that that is the right place for you. It's like you've been, you've had certain goals, or um, you want to feel a certain way about your reality. So you've been going in that direction, and now it's like your dreams are giving you guidance that, like, hey, you are shifting off course a bit. So when you're really going in new direction here, it's like you're actually more like getting more in alignment with the direction you were always trying to go. So that is why you're having these dreams. These dreams are helping you see that. Regret, a new direction away from regret. 
and towards metamorphosis. And what were kind of the sidelines of these new directions here? Like, what's kind of like some so, uh, some ideas of like, you know, it's kind of like you're driving down a road and you want to stay in your lane, you know? And if you're swerving a bit to the left and swerving a bit to the right, off course. So I'm going to look at those outside sort of borders to your direction. So one side of it that might be steering too far is winter, being frozen, feeling stuck. Another side of it that might be kind of too far as well or it might just be the direction you're going in which is forward is settling so yeah actually yeah no these are pretty strong messages so um i'm getting you are walking away from regret and you are seeing places in your life where you could re remain frozen you could stay stuck and you're also seeing situations where you're like, yeah, I could take that kind of abuse or toxicity or um, lack of balance in a situation. I can't, I could settle, you know, for less. You could, these are the places you could go, but I'm seeing you're, you're not. You are going towards metamorphosis. You are flying. You are ascending above all of that. You're like, you're not staying stuck your dreams are telling you you are freeing yourself at this time so you need to have faith in that and if you've been saying that's what you want to manifest like writing it down as manifestation or you just know that you want to get out of this situation um, keep having faith that that's what you're doing you don't need to, if you get fear or doubt or worry like oh what if this is forever or I'm gonna be stuck here or it's been so long those kinds of energies which can be it's very difficult you know um, they can really weigh you down so it's like over anything no matter how long it may be or what your situation is do not let do not lose faith that you are getting out of your situation otherwise that will m put you in the direction of towards regret away from the metamorphosis you need to keep having faith you need to keep believing in stuff, you know? And a lot of people might tell you like, oh, like, it's just gonna, you're just gonna get hurt by having faith. You're just gonna have, you're gonna get hurt by believing in dreams. Um, those are people who are hurting because they ended up with disbelief about something and, and withdrew. And now they are gonna have to revisit those at a different time in their lives or whenever in their lives so that they can like figure that out. So what I'm getting, to say is like do not listen to those voices do not listen to those people or situations that say uh give up or you're not going to get out of this or look at this reality and this is all your reality will be you know the illusion aspect don't let your current reality dissuade you from seeing it as bullshit <laughs> if it feels like that if it doesn't feel like the reality you know you deserve if you're like this reality no it's like so long as you're aware and you know that you're getting out of it, that will be a strong enough force, energy, uh, so long as you uh, go with the flow to get you out of this. So you just need to have faith at this time is the message I'm getting here. One last message is contemplation. Yeah, and you need to like, it, it's like, and so it's not that you just do nothing with this energy. It's you, this is a really good time to learn and process while you're going down this path so it's like even though you're still here and you're like you can like kind of be like i'm getting out of this but also what is this situation in the present moment supposed to be teaching me so it's like don't get don't get caught up in the future don't get stuck in the past remain in the present and be aware of where you came from and aware of where you are going and you should be okay so this does kind of seem to be bringing in like the idea of like you're gonna need to have a good grounded energy being grounded in in reality right now and then also being aware of that you are getting into a future that you a future present moment that you deserve and desire uh yeah so that's why you're having these dreams i'm getting if that resonates um they're supposed to be helping you with that in some sort of way Lots of love and light, guys. Peace out. All right. Why am I having this dream? So this is reading number seven. 
or why am I having these dreams? Work through your fears. So pretty specific message here. Um, you might be having these dreams to face certain fears, to work through them, to learn um, certain things about that. Oh, a new romantic cycle begins with, it's time to release negativity. So I actually drew that card instead of this card. And this is the other Scorpio card, funny enough. So we've got the new moon in Scorpio, and then we've got the full moon in Scorpio. So let me see what this card is. Don't let pride get in your way. I am getting, there are a few reasons you're having these dreams. One, it's helping you work through your fears and release negativity. And two, it's like your dreams are signaling to you that you're on a path to to new love to coming together with romance um one way or another and it's like don't let your ego get in the way of this don't let knowing that stop you so like it's tricky because this message is like giving you confirmation that oh yeah you're basically getting like premonitions for what's to come in a positive sense, you know, if there's like scary stuff happening in your dreams, it's really just about releasing that. But the whole point of that is because it's bringing in new romance into your life. Um, and if that's not about a person, it's about a certain dream, something you feel very romantically about. And um, and it's tricky because it's like when you know this, then it's like some sometimes when we know that, we start trying to look for it in the physical world. Um, I'm getting that's the opposite of what you should do. It's like, don't let pride get in your way. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't think that you have to do something or know, or like, oh, I figured it out now. Like I have to go to this spot to manifest this. It's not really the message. It's kind of the opposite. I'm getting like, don't let something like that get in your way of manifesting this. Um, don't let knowing about these manifestations stop you from living your life in the present. So you sort of have to live your life as though you're not gonna get this thing manifest this thing but also believing that you will manifest it so the analogy a lot of people like to use that I've noticed is like manifesting is like ordering a package on online or Amazon or whatever are you like when it says the shipping information is like it's on its way are you ever, like you don't have to do anything you already wrote in your shipping address the package will deliver to you you don't have to do anything else so manifesting is like purchasing a thing online this is letting you know, yes, you've already successfully purchased this item, this manifestation. Um, and that can be about like love and, and a partner and stuff. Not in a sense of like um, inequality, of course. This is a respectful environment on my channel, you know, and everything. But like, but you do manifest your reality. So it's like, you made some sort of like spiritual manifestations and they're already on its way and with that in mind it's like think about like the shipment it's being sent to directly your house right whenever you do an order online like amazon think of that house as you so if you're running around looking for it it's like you're running away from your manifestation because it's trying to catch up with you it's trying to come to you but because you're looking for it you're not really going to be able to look straight to it you're always going to be kind of you know because where it is is it's inside of you so if you're going external a lot you're like leaving your inside body which is literally going the opposite direction um, from your manifestation so the reason you're having these dreams right now is to help you with your manifestation process so it might seem weird but if your dream you're surrounded by water, maybe actually surround yourself with water. Maybe your manifestation will be there, maybe it won't, but the point is your dreams are guiding you um, to help shape your lifestyle right now at this time. And that might sound a little strange, but your dreams, you create your dreams. So you are in control of them. Um, so 
so so naturally you're gonna live your I, I kind of feel like our days sort of get programmed by our dreams. Um, maybe not all the time for some of us, but for me, I feel like that a lot. Or like if you ever woke up and you're like, why do I have this song in my head? Or maybe pay attention to that. Maybe you're waking up and you have certain music in your head and you're like, wait, when was I listening to that song? And maybe you heard it in your sleep or you're thinking about it in your sleep through your dreams. So things like that. Um, and then like, or like, Sometimes, have you, if you guys relate to this, have you ever like dreamt about a person? You woke up and you forgot you dreamt about them or a song or a situation and then you are singing or you do think about messaging that person and then you remember why you're thinking about that person or that song or that thing. You're like, oh yeah, I was dreaming about this earlier. Usually whenever I have that moment, I'm like, huh, that makes me start to think this whole day was pre-programmed. It's kind of like when you sleep, you live out the next, the, the day and then you wake up and then you do it. So that's why sometimes we feel deja vu. Maybe not exactly why, but like, I don't know. That's part of why I feel it that way. I feel like um, we've done all of this. That in a sense, this is all have, this already happened, you know, but we get to experience it in the present as though it's happening in the moment, but it's already happened. <laughs> so, so your dreams are not meant to dissuade you. They're meant to encourage you that you are getting these manifestations these romantic ventures in your life so yeah these are all pretty cool messages i really liked doing this pick a card reading um the final thing is to don't let your past go hold you back this is saying this is different than before you are different than before so your situations will be different than before don't let your past hold you back if you're worried, well, what if this person hurts me like that person did? What if this situation is too good to be true like the last situation? That's letting your past hold you back. Don't do that is what the message of your dreams is trying to say. So that was the final message. All right, there you guys have it. I hope this is resonating with you guys. I'm sending so much love and light. Peace out.